Hello, this is a. I'm gonna show you a game I've been working on in XNA. Uh, it's multiplayer so far. So I'll just start up my server. This is my server. Just have that run in the background. Um, then I'll start up the actual game. Alright, I got me here. I'm strolling around. This is a pretty empty world right now. But it, my name is No Name, so I can go. Name change. Alright, I'll change my name. And I think the world's pretty empty, so I'll go enable world edit. And my computer, being me, I'm authorized to edit the world. I'm just going to make a small room. Um, let's say I want to make a another area that I can go to. I'll type in spawn stairs and then to a dark. That'll be that's the name of the region that the new stairs that the new room will be in. And then I name the room just one. And to go through the stairs, disable world edit. Oh, that was weird. Oh. <laughs> I have it linking to the same room. Okay. Now I have stairs that lead me to my second room here. Uh, let's just say, maybe I want to, maybe I want to make this new room a little more lively. And two rooms to work. Got my first room here, which consists of two smaller rooms. As you can see, the walls are collidable. I, I obviously didn't spend much time lining up the walls, but you could if you're making the world. So I go down here, and now I'm in the basement, as it were. I just go back up the stairs, and now I'm in this other room. And eventually I'm going to have it where you can make uh, enemies and items and NPCs. So that's going to be fun. And as a, it is a multiplayer game, multiple people can play. Authorized people will be able to make the world, and everyone will be able to adventure in it. And use weapons against monsters, and buy stuff from shopkeepers, and it'll be awesome. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Um, I hope next time I have a video, it'll actually have multiple people in it.